Hello students, I am Kashif Ibrahim and we are running a course for Cambridge International A's level Computer Science 9618 uh, Assembly Language. Uh, we are trying to cover uh, Assembly Language course uh, in this series. Although this course is, is being made for uh, A level uh, Computer Science student specifically, but uh, it can be used by other students of different level also so let's start the course in lesson number one of assembly language today we are going to have an introduction of assembly language and before that we would try to understand from very basic uh, level that what a computer language is and how does it work and what type of different computer languages we can have then we will come to the introduction of assembly language and we will try to understand how does assembly language differ from other computer languages? So what is a computer language? A computer language is a set of instructions, symbols, and rules to make a program, right? Examples have been given, basic language, Java language, Python language, and the language we are going to discuss, that is assembly language. So what is this? Let's try to analyze this uh, definition. Uh, set of instructions means every computer language, for example, if you have uh, seen basic language or Python language or any other computer language, you have worked on it, then you understand that every language has its own set of instructions. Uh, print command is used in basic language. Uh, print F command is used in C language. Similarly, Java and Python, they also have their own set of instructions. So those set of instructions are specific to that particular language. For example, command of basic cannot be used in COBOL or command of COBOL cannot be used in Java. So every computer language has its own set of instructions. And similarly, in different languages, different symbols are also used and they have different purposes for example apostrophe sign is used in uh, basic language to pass comments similarly question mark is used in basic language uh, uh, for print command similarly we have different symbols uh, meanings in different language different right set of rules set of rules means every language has own set of rule if you have worked in c language then you must know that c language is case sensitive at the other hand uh, in uh, basic language it doesn't make any difference whether you are writing in capital letters or small letters in kubul language all the commands you have to write in capital letters in C language all the commands you have to write in small letters similarly in Java language also you have to write in small letters so every language has its own rules in basic language we have a rule that in GW basic that every command has to be written on a separate line number in Q basic it is not required so every language has own environment and own set of instructions, own set of symbols, own set of rules to be followed. But mind it, every language, whichever language is being used, whether it is basic, Java or Python or any other language, COBOL, Pascal, any other language, it has to be ultimately translated into machine language. What is machine language? language of ones and zero 
means every command which you write in any high level language program is to be converted into a code of one and zero and that is understood by computer hardware so what is computer's language computer's language is machine language so what is a program definition of program is a program is a set of instructions made in a particular programming language using its own set of instructions its own symbols its own set of rules now come to the types of languages there are two types of computer languages one is called high level language and one is called low level language initially in the beginning in the era of 50s and 60s programmers used to program by using machine language by using a set of switches and using those switches on and off command used to be passed then the first language which used alphabets instead of one zero commands that was assembly language till that time we did not had we did not have any concept of high level or low level languages the first language first language which was closer to human language that was assembly language but still in assembly language it was required for the programmer to understand the basic architecture and hardware of computer system so uh, programming was a bit easier instead of remembering one zero command programmer had to write alphabets and mnemonics the commands of assembly language are called mnemonics but the programmer should have a fair idea of the type of hardware and the type of computer architecture being used later on we had much easier languages developed basic language was developed cobol language was developed pascal language was developed fortran language was de developed these all are different languages which which came in the era of 60s and 70s these languages are much easier than as compared to assembly language or machine language because the approach of programming in these languages or the languages came after it after them it is totally different the style of programming is different the style of programming in technical term is called paradigm so programming paradigm was changed in assembly language or machine language hardware knowledge is required but in other languages basic fortran pascal python java or any other high level language hardware uh, uh, knowledge is not required so programmer just need to write what to do how that task will be done it is not required to be written in the program so later on all the high level languages were much easier for human being uh, to understand as compared to the assembly language and machine language so these languages were categorized into two types high level language and low level language now let's see uh, a comparison between the high level language and low level language high level language is english like uh, language means the commands in high level language for example in basic we have print command for example in cobol we have display command for example in c language we have print f command so these are the languages the example i have given you these are having human languages or human uh, language words which are being used to instruct computer right but in low level language to display something either you should have uh, you sh you need to write command in machine language or in mnemonic form which is not like english language we will see the examples of mnemonic in upcoming lessons so high level languages are easier low level language is difficult 
high level language is having english like commands low level language is having binary codes or alphabets alphabets i have given here alphabets for assembly language commands but high level languages when they are executed the program is made and it is run on the computer as compared to low level language or assembly language the execution of program is slower but in low level language if the program is made in assembly or binary codes binary codes are not used by the way uh, machine codes are not used for programming but assembly language is still used so if the program is made in assembly language it is faster than the program which is made in high level language so high level language program we can say is not as efficient uh, when we compare it with assembly language but high level language programs are hardware independent means the program which you make on uh, one machine can be uh, uh, transferred to other computer and it can be run uh, as uh, efficiently as you run it on any on the machine on which you have made it but in assembly language this is a limitation that the program which you have made on one computer if you run it on the second computer or on other computer you copy it then you might have some difficulty and you might have some error because the program in assembly language is machine dependent means the type of machine on which you have made it can be run only on that computer so examples of high level languages are basic and python and examples of low level languages are assembly language and machine language we have so many so many high level languages available uh, but in low level language we have only two types after this we should understand that what is a assembly language i have told you that assembly language is a low level language and why it has been kept in uh, low level language because it is closer to machine language it is as efficient as you make program in machine language the translator which is used to translate uh, assembly language codes into machine language that is called assembler by the way the translators of high level languages are compiler or interpreter we are not discussing in compiler or interpreter here so that's why uh, we will uh, limit ourselves to assembler but mind it the commands of assembly language are not machine codes machine code means codes of 1 and 0 they are called mnemonics mnemonic m is silent here and when you use mnemonics to make a program it is as efficient as machine codes what is the reason behind this because when a program is made in high level language for example i am making a program in basic language and i write on line number 10 cls on line number 2 i write print in quotation pakistan so this is a two line program which i have made to print pakistan on computer screen when i translate this program i run it and use it a translator use a translator to translate it and execute it then this two line program quite possible will be converted into a number of lines right but when i make a program for example in assembly language 
right and i run this command using assembler after translation this one line program or one line code will be translated into one line machine code so every line of high level language program is equal to many lines of 10 codes at the other hand every line of assembly language program is equal to one line of machine code right so obviously when the program is translated from high level language to machine code the size of the machine code is larger than the actual program at the other hand when the program is made in assembly language the size of the translated program in machine code is equal to the actual program so the program before translation is called source code and the program after translation is called object code so in case of assembly language object codes are equal but in case of high level language object code or object program is larger than the actual program now uh, we will try to understand this concept that why assembly language is hardware specific why we are calling it we should understand this thing that every processor has a set of instruction it is also called instruction set of the processor this is the language of the processor of the processor or you can say 10 language of the processor using which the program high level language program or assembly language program instructions are executed but mind it every processor has different set of instruction so that is why because the assembly language is uh, using these instruction sets so for every processor the assembly language is different so that is why uh, if you are making program in uh, on one machine which is using a specific processor after making the program in assembly if you transfer it to other machine and that machine is using different manufacturers cpu then quite possible you will not be able to run your program there so that is why we say, uh, say that uh, assembly language is hardware dependent or hardware specific so i hope that you have understood the basic concept that what a computer language is what is a program what is the difference between the two types of computer languages and then you have had an introduction of assembly language by understanding that why it is hardware specific uh, what uh, what a mnemonic is and why it is efficient as compared to high level language so we end our lesson here and uh, in upcoming lessons inshallah we will see some more details of assembly language thank you very much allah hafiz